Okay, welcome to Doris's Kitchen. Today we're going to make cinnamon rolls. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've added two cups of our Jiffy baking mix. Okay, it has a lot of ingredients to rise and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm adding an egg and the egg is really optional. If you're not going to add an egg, you're going to want to put two-thirds cup of milk. But I've added an egg because I like it more fluffy and stuff, so I'm only putting one-third cup of milk. Okay. And then we just stir that all up, blend that all in. Kind of till you get it all kind of like in a ball. Okay, now you're just going to knee it for a while. That helps to activate all the ingredients. Okay, now we're going to roll it up. Go as thin as you can with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some butter and we're going to butter it. Then what we're going to do afterwards is add some sugar and some cinnamon. Now I know a lot of people say, oh God, everybody has too much sugar in their life. but." You're going to look at the value of the cinnamon that you're also putting on there because cinnamon is actually very healthy for you. It helps uh, people who are uh, borderline diabetics. You'll find they'll go into the drugstore and they'll buy um, cinnamon, capsules full of cinnamon and everything. And they'll add that to their vitamins. Oops, a little piece come off here. Here we go. Get in there. And they'll add these capsules, cinnamon capsules, to their vitamins for the day and everything. And the cinnamon really helps to lower blood levels. So even though there's sugar in here, you know, for people who are worried about their um, blood sugar, uh, the cinnamon will help take care of some of that. Of course, if you're diabetic, you don't want to do this, but if you're just one who's concerned about your sugar levels, or find or think you may be borderline diabetic, you know, it's okay to have a cinnamon roll once in a while because the cinnamon kind of takes care of the rest. This is also really good for kids when they go to school. All this is is just sugar and cinnamon mixed together. Uh, and just make it look whichever way you want it to look. I'm going to add in these cinnamon rolls because the first batch that I made right here uh, is just this here, roll it up and that's it. But the second batch that I'm making, 
just want to add a little bit of raisins because I like my cinnamons with raisin. Get in there. Okay, and also uh, a little bit of walnuts. You know, because they always say it's healthy to have a handful of nuts every day. It's good for your body and everything. Good on protein, really. Uh, but it has a lot of other values and everything for all our well-being and stuff. So, I love walnuts. So I'm adding them to mine. Okay, then all you got to do is roll her up. You know, when you do this, it kind of reminds you of that song, uh, Patty Cake. <laughs> roll them up, roll them up, mark them with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. So it's always good to let your little ones join you when you're baking and everything and add those funny little things to it. That way it gets them interested in wanting to cook and bake. And in these days, it's a lot better to cook the food yourself. Okay, now you're gonna grease up your pan. Okay. It's always better to cook your own food and everything. nuts and the raisins on this one. There you go. I wouldn't have made it quite so tall. I would have had all nine. I did have them all nine on the other pan. Okay. There you go. Now what you're going to want to do is put them right in the oven. Preheat your oven to 425 and all you need to do is cook it for 15 minutes. How easy is that? There you go. So and this is the cinnamon rolls that you get. Now, if you want to do your glaze, uh, you know, because everything has to have glaze, always tastes better and everything that way. Then on the glaze, what you do is you add one and a half cups of confectionery sugar, a cap full of vanilla, and one fourth cup of milk. And this is what you get. You can see how it just comes this way. That way you know it's this is the natural way for it to be. Because remember, this is just a glaze. Okay. Then just add a little bit of glaze. There you go. And that's how easy it is to make cinnamon rolls. So it takes probably about eight minutes at the most to do it. Then you bake it for 15 minutes. There you go. While it's baking, stir up your glaze. And this glaze goes a long way, so you can always put it in the refrigerator and save it for the next time. Okay? Because there's plenty of glaze, and here you are. Bon appetit!